here with our new 1979 Baby Alive that we unboxed in our last video. I'll put the link down below in case you haven't seen that. And the majority of you have requested for me to feed her Cherry Cherry. So today we are going to attempt feeding her Cherry Cherry Baby Alive food from 1979. So first of all, I have her bottle and I filled it with water. It's really cute. I have her Baby Alive bowl and her Baby Alive spoon. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to take her little bib and I wanted to show you guys. It says made in Hong Kong. So that's really cute. I'm gonna put it on her. She has a little blanket on. I thought she looked a little more cozy that way. Here we go, baby girl. Let's put your bib on. It's really cute on her. And I am going to go ahead and take her out of her little blankie so you guys can see her. She's wearing her little dress and her um, diaper that she came in. So we are going to feed her and see what it's like. It says mix food with a half ounce, which is one tablespoon of water. I can use the bottle or a mom's measuring spoon to measure the water. Stir until smooth. So I'm gonna put a half an ounce from her bottle. It's about at two and a half ounces. So I'm gonna squeeze in water until it's down to this line. It looks like we're down to two ounces, so we've put a half an ounce of water in her bowl. So I'm going to set this over here, and I am going to shake it down and rip it open. And I will show you guys what it looks like. It looks like a lot like the food we have today. pours it in a lot like the other food. I'm gonna stir it around. It doesn't look very red, which I don't know if it would have looked red uh, 36 years ago or not, but it does not look red at all. It looks more like carrots or something. So I don't know. You know what guys, um, I'm gonna go ahead and make up some other food. We have two other compartments and just out of curiosity's sake, um, I'm gonna go ahead and make up some more food. We probably won't feed her that much, but let's go ahead, so. Okay, that looks about right for that one. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in this side. Okay, I think that's right. I'm gonna go ahead and put some bitey banana. Oh, it looks yellow. At least it's the right color, huh? This cherry cherry is not very thick at all. The banana does look yellow. I'll stir it around until it looks clear. I don't know if it's supposed to get thick, guys, but the cherry cherry doesn't look thick at all. All right, let's pour the delicious lime. Well, it looks kind of green. I don't know how green. Well, not very green. But maybe it was more muted, I don't know. Okay guys, we have her ready to feed her. And I have her laying down because her legs don't bend. She can't actually sit down like the newer baby lives do. So she is a baby that's gonna kinda have to lay down when she eats. So I guess I will start by feeding her some Cheery Cherry since most of you asked for Cheery Cherry. And so I'm gonna just push on her chin because that's how she starts eating. I have to kind of get it started. There we go. You hungry? Ooh, she eats really good, guys. Want another bite? And her, after a while, um, she stops chewing or sucking, so you have to push on it again and get it started gonna go ahead and give her some banana. A lot of you asked for banana also. 
Is that good, baby girl? All right. Let's turn her back on. All right, some delicious lime. Which do you guys think is her favorite? She seems like she eats them all really good. All right, we probably ought to give her a drink. Here you go, baby girl. Can you guys see her sucking her bottle? She's a good baby girl. You're a good girl. Is that good? All right, let's eat a little more food. Here, we'll set this over here behind her. Isn't she pretty? I have to push her chin to get her started. Okay, guys, let's try some more cheery cherry. <laughs> Is that good, baby girl? All right, bitey banana. It's not very bitey, it's pretty runny. And delicious lime. A good girl. All right. Put some more bottle. Let's rinse it all down good, and then we're gonna change your diaper. Can you guys see? Can you see your mouth moving? All right, let's give her a few more bites. You want some more cheery cherry? And a little more bitey banana. She likes all the flavors. And a little more delicious lime. <laughs> I think she likes that. I've never heard of lime baby food, but I guess they have it for baby alives. <laughs> Alright guys, I guess we'll give her a little more bottle and then let me wipe her little chin. Okay guys, I'm going to give her a little more bottle and then we're going to go ahead and change her diaper for you guys. Alright, are you done baby girl? Her bottle is all gone, so let's change her diaper. I know a lot of you were asking how to change these diapers, and I have honestly never done it, or if I did when I was little, I'm not for sure. I have a 1979 Baby Alive diaper here, and a 1979 Baby Alive tape, and we are going to change her diaper together. Alright baby girl, we're going to change your diaper. Yeah, it's not your average tape. You kind of have to just rip the plastic a little bit. Oh my. All right guys, I'm going to get this diaper out from under her and show you. They are not as absorbent as today's diapers. Like I said, it felt like a Kleenex inside of a little plastic thing. But I have to say, the poop looks really messy. I'm gonna wipe her off really good. And then we're gonna take off her little dress. Come on, baby girl, let's take off your dress. Take off, first I'll take off her bib. And then her little dress. I didn't even feed her very much food, so I can only imagine how messy this baby would get if you actually fed it all the food. Oh, her dress is soaked, guys. Okay, we have another diaper here. We're gonna lift her up. Put her on the diaper. I don't know how well you guys can see. It's like a Kleenex with a little plastic bottom. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just kind of, well here, let me just show you up here. I'm gonna kind of bunch it up in the middle so it'll go between her legs. I'm assuming that's what I'm supposed to do, but I'm honestly not sure. So, just kind of, See, I've got it between her legs like this. 
And I have to kind of move her hand out of the way, and it looks like a diaper now. Pretty cool. Now I have these little tapes that came with her. So I'm just going to peel one of them off like this. And they're really sticky. There's not very many of these diapers left, so I want to make sure that I show you guys. I'm just going to pull it up like this and take the tape and put over it like that to hold it into place. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I wonder if the real diapers that babies wore in 1979 had to be taped like this or not. Maybe most people used cloth diapers, I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm going to tape it down like this. Aw, it looks really sweet, guys. Look at her. Thank you guys for all the name suggestions I haven't chosen yet, honestly. Some of you have suggested that I name her a popular name from the 70s, and I think that's a really good idea because she is from the 70s, but I'm not for sure which of those names I like the best yet. So, um, some of the examples I got were like Emily, Lisa, Stephanie, Julie, Heather. I can't remember all of them, but I do think that a 70s name would be really good for her since that's when the era that she's from. So I'm still thinking about it. Let me know what you guys think about that. I also have an announcement for you guys. We have a 1973 baby alive that we're going to unbox for you also. And I think it's pretty much almost exactly the same, if not exactly the same. The boxes are different, but I think the babies are the same. My next video should be an unboxing of that baby. So guys, be watching for that video. Please like this video and comment down below your favorite.